in this video we are going to learn average velocity of an object and this will be useful for class 11 students and students preparing for IIT or NEET exams so let's go ahead now with average velocity to know the average velocity of any object we need simply two things first is the displacement and second the time now to understand it we can check the graph of an object and moving object and using that graph we'll understand the concept of average velocity since velocity is a vector quantity it has direction along with the magnitude first let's see the graph so here it's two axes x and y and it has a zero now what this axis is all about we'll talk it later now let's see there is one object which traveled like this all right so it traveled from a point a to a point B and now since I told you that uh, we'll talk about in the axis in the Cartesian coordinate axis later so this axis is nothing but a reference frame a frame in which this motion is happening this object is traveling so this object has two positions in two given times so let the first position of the object be R1 R1 is the position of the object here at given time T1 so at starting time T1 sometime that time can be any any time you pick as the initial time and then after some time it traveled all the way from here to another point and this point is the point where the position vector is R2 so the two position vectors of an object and when it reaches here the time is T2 a different time so from reaching from point A to point B what time it took the time it took is T2 minus T1 this is the total time it took alright now let's see what is the displacement of the object when it starts from A and reaches B so since OA O to A is a vector and O to B itself is a vector so displacement being a vector can be deduced from A to B so this is the displacement from A to B the curve line can be the path of the object but the dis displacement is the shortest distance so 
to find the displacement of the object from A to B. So we can say it like delta R. Delta R is like change in the position. R is the positions, R1 and R2. So change in position is delta R, which is final position minus initial position. And we are using the triangle law of addition of vectors to find this. R2 minus R1. And which gives the delta R, which is itself is a vector. Now in practicality, how we can find delta R? So we can use the parallelogram law of vector addition. So you can see there is a direction to this displacement. The direction is this direction. The arrow he head is given here. So the arrow gives the direction to the displacement. So we have a displacement now which has magnitude delta r. The mod of delta r is the magnitude and a direction which can easily be shown by the arrow. So the magnitude of displacement will be the mode of delta R which is the mode of R2 minus R1. Now coming back to the average velocity. So average velocity is written as a bar over V it is a vector quantity because it is velocity which is the average of the velocity from the point A to B so it will be the total like what is the total displacement the displacement of the particle from A to B which is delta R it is called the total displacement or the displacement by the total time taken which is T2 minus T1 which can also be written as R2 minus R1 by T2 minus T1 so this is the average velocity now Whenever you are given with a problem where you have to find the average velocity, just keep in mind you have to find out first the displacement and then you have to find the time and put these things in the formula, you'll get average velocity. Likewise, in average speed, we have to find total distance covered and total time taken. These two things are important when we are talking about the average speed. Nothing else. So be very clear. You can be given so many things when uh, like in a problem. But out of whatever things are given, you have to find out the displacement and time for velocity, average velocity and distance and total time for average speed. And this, uh, this uh, with this note, I'm going to leave you here. We'll come up with next topic in next video. Thank you.